Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tammy Bashore and I'm here to offer tips and tricks to help you cohabitate happily with your German short hair. So today I wanna to talk about three mistakes that we made in the beginning um, that I wish that we could go back and change now. I think there's always mistakes when you're learning something new for people that are new here. I didn't have a dog growing up. In fact, I'm 40 years old now and I didn't get a dog until, let's see, Benny is about seven years old. So I was about 33 when I got my first dog and my first dog was a German short hair. Um, not the easiest breed to start with. Um, and so clearly I made mistakes along the way. And so I'm here to tell you more about them so that hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. So one of the first mistakes I wanna talk about is leash training. Leash training is something we were not extremely consistent on and I really wish that we were. We do live in town and so we could walk them through our neighborhoods and a lot of campgrounds are gonna require leashes. Um, if you wanna take them places, a lot of places are gonna require leashes. And while our dogs do have leashes when they need to, they are not very well leash trained. They are dogs that want to be out running real fast in wide open spaces, but that's not always where we are. And so I wish we would have been more consistent with leash training, teaching them uh, not to pull, um, because anytime I have them on leashes now, they definitely pull me everywhere, especially when there's two of them. And so it ends up being them walking me instead of me walking them. And so that's a mistake that I definitely made early on that I'd still like to break. They are four and seven now. Um, I don't know if it's too late, uh, but it's definitely something I would like to try to get them to be better at is to not pull on a leash so that I can take them more places where leashes are required. So leash training is definitely something I wish we would have worked on much sooner. The second thing I wish we would have done is more of the obedience training, you know, teaching them their place and to stay in their place until we have told them to do something different, teaching them not to eat their food until they've been given permission, teaching them not to jump up on the furniture. Um, these are still things that I think we can teach. I don't think it's too late at four and seven, and they're definitely things that require consistency, but it's one of the things that makes me a little crazy that I didn't spend more time doing when they were younger and they pick up on these things quicker um, because I think it would have solved a lot of the angst and issues that I might have now when I get frustrated with them. And it's definitely my fault. It's not their fault. I didn't train them to do these things. I trained them to act the way that they act. Um, and that's all that they know. So it's definitely on me, but it's something that I wish I would have done more of is the obedience training. And then lastly is, I wish I would have trained them to sleep in their own beds at night. This is definitely on me. When I got Bentley seven and a half years ago, um, I was extremely allergic to dogs. I still am allergic to dogs. I went through, I did allergy shots. It's definitely much better than it used to be. I used to just swell up anytime I was around a dog or in a house that had dogs. So I did allergy um, shots, that sort of thing. And when we first got Bentley, he slept in our basement in his kennel and he did pretty good there. He would whine and whimper and my son's room was down in the basement and it would drive my son crazy. It would make him sad and the whimpering just didn't stop. And so someone had said, well, maybe bring the kennel into your room and see if that helps. So we brought the kennel into our bedroom and it did help a little bit. Um, and mind you, I was adamant there would be no dogs in my bed. Because I'm allergic, I did not want any dogs in my bed. Um, so we brought Benny into the kennel and then in the evenings we would find ourselves, you know, he would just be in our bed for a little bit before we went to bed. So he would lay with us and then we would put him back in his kennel and someone said to also put a sheet over their kennel at night um, and we did that. But when we would let him lay in our bed in the evenings, eventually that would turn into longer and longer and then it would be overnight. And Bentley was never one that loved to sleep in our bed, um, but he would usually start out there and then towards the middle of the night, he would roam and find his way to his own bed um, in the living room at the time is where that one was. So Bentley was kind of a 50-50, slept in our bed. We didn't start him there, we had good intentions. Um, but when we got Berkeley, I feel like it's kind of like children and all of those mothers out there, dads out there, you're gonna understand with the first one, you try to do all the things right. With the second one, you're all just trying to survive. And then with the third, everything just goes out the window. I don't have three, but I imagine that that's what it's like. Um, so with dogs, I feel like it's kind of the same. With the first one, I tried to do everything right. And with the second one, we kind of threw a few of those rules out the window and now I start to regret it a little bit. 
at the time that we got Berkeley was about four and a half, almost five years ago now. We had just moved into this house. We had built it. All of our furniture wasn't here yet. So we were sleeping in the guest bedroom downstairs in the basement. And we brought a new puppy home. And of course the puppy had to be in our room so that we could hear when it needed to go to the bathroom at night. And um, our mistake is, is I had him come into bed with me and I actually held him right here. So that way, if he moved at night, I would feel him and we'd be able to run him all the way up the stairs and out the back door, which was quite a long ways um, to get him out to the bathroom so that he didn't go to the bathroom in the house. So mistake number one, he slept in bed from day one. He never slept in his kennel. He knows no different. In fact, he slept either right here or he'd go under the covers and sleep by my feet. So to this day, that's exactly still where he sleeps, right between my husband and I, usually closer to my husband, but typically right up along our side where he slept since day one. So that is definitely a mistake that we made that I wish we could go back and do differently, which is do more sleep training consistently with them in their own beds. I did it with my children. I don't know why I couldn't do it with my dogs. Um, I love having them in my bed now, but there's also times where I just want them out of my bed because they take up so much space. So hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. Just to recap, the first one was leash training. I wish we would have done some more consistent leash training. Secondly, obedience school so they could learn even more about how to cohabitate with humans than they do already with us. And then lastly, I wish we wouldn't have had them sleeping in our bed, but in their own bed. Three mistakes. I wish that I could go back and change. All I can do now is move forward. So some of these I might still try to work on and see where we can go. Who knows? Can you teach an old dog do tricks? I guess we're gonna find out. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm gonna take these boys out so that they can run leash free out in the country. I hope you have a great day.
gets bored with fetch real fast. So then I end up having to go find his ball because he gets bored um, so that we don't lose him and leave with only one. So he left it right over here. So he's a pain, but he's running over there somewhere.